after the recognizance service, the next thing is to mark your points. That's monumentation. So you get a small peg. You put it on point A, point B, point C, and point D. That is, you put it at every turning point of your site. So when you are through with monumentation, that is, you have put peg to demarcate your site. So the next thing you will do, you start your measurement. That is, you start your chaining. You, so one person will stand with zero mark, holding zero mark of the tape on point A. Then the other person will draw the tape towards the B and take the linear measurement from point A to B. You write it down. Then you take linear measurement from point B to C. Also put it down. Then you take linear measurement from point C to D. And also from point D back to A. So after you are done with that, you now do you measure the diagonal, which is the baseline. You measure the diagonal. That is you you measure the baseline. So you measure from A to C. That will serve as a baseline. And you know the essence of chain survey is that you form series of triangles inside your site. Now, when you are measuring from A to C, you mark point D along the line. When you draw your tape, before you remove the tape, when you draw your tape from A to C to measure it, before you remove the tape, you now mark point D. That is the point D where you can take measurement from point D to, sorry, point E. Let's call it E because we already have D. So you mark point E where you take measurement from point E to D. You know, to have another triangle, you have A, E, D, that's another triangle. And you have D, E, C, that's another triangle. And also, along the line, you mark point F. You mark point F. Where you join, where you can easily join it to point B. So that you take measurement from point F to point B. And note, when you May, when you have the point E and F, you note the distance from A to E, you write it down. The distance from A to F, you also write it down. And don't forget, each chain line will be represented on different pages. That is, a chain line per one page of the free book. For instance, A to B will be on one page. B to C will be on another page, C to D will be on another page, D to A will be on another page, A to C will be on a separate page, A to E will be on another page of the field book, then A to F will be on another page of the field book. Also, E to D will be on another page of the field book. F to B will be on another page of the Facebook. So this is how you take your measurement on site. So I'll show you how you record this thing inside your Facebook in another video.